Today we're going to introduce to you our new primed, paintable diff covers. You've seen our gray diff covers and everything from Dana 30 to Dana 80. Today we're going to show you our new prime diff cover that you can paint to match your own Jeep. So each cover comes with a new box of Rhinos with CRTV, the tag, and new bolts for the installation. It also comes with two fill plugs and a magnetic drain plug. Like all the rest of our nodular iron diff covers, it's thicker, cast, has ribs for strength and for impact, and a place for the tag. The reason for the two fill plugs is because these axles are used on a lot of different applications where the fill plug changes for the individual application. So you need to try and best approximate your fill level. Don't just automatically fill to the top of the, of the upper one because you may end up blowing oil out the vent. So we've offered the diff covers in gray. We understand that everyone needs to customize their own Jeep, make it their own. So we are offering it now in primer so that you can paint it whatever color you like. And after it's dry, you can take your new box of Rhinos Seal RTV and you can install it on your axle. The beauty of the Rhinos Seal is it replaces every color tube of other companies' RTV that you already have in your toolbox. One tube does it all. We're gonna get this axle draining, and while it's draining, we're gonna paint our diff cover. So let's get the tools out. So we've got our axle draining. I'm gonna pop the plugs out of the cover because we don't wanna paint those. We're gonna paint our diff cover slowly with a couple of light coats. You can use any good metal or cast iron bonding paint that you like, any color that you like. Just let it dry before you install it. Now that we've got our cover painted, we're gonna make sure that we clean up the flange really well with some brake clean. Make sure there's no paint, oil, grease, anything else on it. You don't need to worry about getting the RTV around the outside of the bolt holes because none of these bolts are what we call wet. The sealing happens right here at this edge. So as long as there's a good bead of RTV between the bolts and this edge, that's enough RTV. We're gonna lay down our bead of Rhinos Asil and then we can get it installed. After you finish applying the Rhinos Asil RTV, you can remove the variable applicator, put the cap back on, so you're ready for the next time. Don't forget to keep the key to get every last ounce of Rhinos Asil out of the tube. We've got our axle drained, so we're gonna take the cover and the original gasket off. We'll clean up the surface of the axle and get ready to mount our new cover. So we've got, our, we've got our cover, we've got our RTV on. Make sure you use the new bolts when you're reinstalling this. If your unit came with a gasket, you cannot reuse the gasket. You have to use some RTV um, because the bolts uh, won't be long enough for the cover, which is thicker, and the gasket. Now that I've got them all started, we're gonna tighten them down evenly. Now that I've got them all snugged down, torque them to the factory spec, keeping in mind that each cover is different because of the bolt size, so that torque load will be different. Now that we've let the RTV set up, we're gonna fill to the bottom of the lower plug. This, on, this is a JL application. Then we can button that up. We're gonna install our fill plugs. Finally, we're gonna put our, our tag on, put it right into the groove, and then we're done. This concludes the installation of our nodular iron diff cover on our Jeep Wrangler JL, our model 220 Dana 44 advanced rear axle. Until next time, stay safe out there.